my honey cakes. If you'd like to achieve this makeup look from NYX, just keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe. Thanks. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I picked up a few things from Sam's Beauty Club but it's not a wig. What it is is some NYX products, a couple of NYX or NYX products. I have three pencils, eye pencils, jumbo eye pencils. I have it in the color milk. I have it in the color oyster and I have it in the color pure gold then I have some multitasker mixing medium from what I understand you use this to put glitter on and you could also use it to put your crystals on as well but it's used to mix together with other like powder eyeshadows or mineral eyeshadows to stick to your eyes and you could also use it as a type of glue. And then I have Cosmic Metals. It's a pretty turquoise blue color. Oh, CMLC03. In the color CMO. In the color CML03. Now I'm just gonna, I already have my face primed and prepared. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a little makeup look using only those pencils, that lipstick, and the mixing medium. I'm gonna start off with my pure gold. I'm just gonna use my pure gold in my transition area. Oh, it goes on really smoothly. Smoother than I expected. Now, I would use a matte color under this. But because I just want to use the NYX Cosmetics to show you today how it comes out, I'm just going to use that. Just going to use the products I got from NYX or NYX. When I bought these from Sam's Beauty, they were having a really good sale on all NYX products. And periodically, that's what they do. They have sales on NYX products. And you can get all kind of NYX products for sometimes up to 50% off. Can you see that? I'm going to put it on again and not blend it out. I hope it doesn't crease. It doesn't seem like it's going to crease if you put it in the right place. Next, I'm going to go in with my milk. And I'm just going to put that on the lid. And it's just going to be almost like a base for some shimmers I'm going to put on. I'm going to put on some shimmers with my mixing medium. I haven't mastered cut creases yet. I would love to do that. We'll do a semi-cut crease. Just gonna blend that out a little bit with my finger. Oh, that 
that's a really nice pigmented white and you could use as a base or you could just use as an eyeshadow see how pretty it looks and it looks good with the gold too next I'm going to use my mixing medium and I'm going to apply this little glitter that I have I got this glitter from um, where did I get this glitter from I think Bitsy glitter this is the Bitsy glitter that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little of the mixing medium in here and then I'm going to pour some uh, glitter on the side of it and see how it mixes from what I understand you have to work with this really fast because I hear that it dries really fast so I'm just going to put a little bit on see I put that much and I'm going to put the glitter on the side glitter can be difficult to work with because it gets all over the place now I'm going to find a brush just to pack that glitter on I'm just going to use this little flat brush from BH Cosmetics to pack the glitter on. I'm going to mix it with the... Let's see. I'll put some of this on and pick up some of the glitter. Ooh, I love it. It's coming out really nice. This looks like a, a glitter look that I did recently, but I'm just doing this right now to show you these NYX cosmetics. Take a little more of the mixing medium, dip it in my glitter, and just pat it onto my eye. And it seems to be sticking and working really well. Get some more glitter on there. I didn't even need as much mixing medium as I put on there. I could have used less, which is a good thing to know. So you won't have to use up all your mixing medium at one time. I'm just going to pack a little more glitter on. And that's how it looks. a little more on this side oh wow I like it I like I think I like this better than the regular glue next I'm gonna take this oyster color pencil the next oyster color pencil I told you about and I'm gonna just put this on my borderline or a little under my waterline. I'm gonna drag it some to the side of my eye. It's very light pink. It's lighter than I expected it to be, but it has a little purple hue. Then I'm gonna take my white milk pencil again, and I'm gonna go right in my waterline with it. That really, really brightens your eyes up. See how bright it looks? I'll take a little more of the oyster and bring it to the side over here. So it looks really light now, but once I put on my lashes and my mascara, you'll see that the, this look will not look crazy like a raccoon or something like it's looking like now with the white all around the eyes. So I'm just, I'll be right back. I'm just going to Okay, so this is the look with my eyelashes and my mascara. Even though my eyelashes on the bottom are a little sparse, you can still see the difference.
So next I'm gonna put on my NYX Prune Lip Liner. I always use it, I don't know why. I don't really like it because I don't feel that it's pigmented enough. Originally, I was going to put the oyster color lips on my, I mean, oyster colored stick on my lips. But because I'm showing you these NYX products, I'm going to go ahead and put the Cosmic Metal Blue on. Let's see how it's going to look with this. It might clash. It might surprise us. <laughs> what do you think? List down below in the comment section what you think about this blue lipstick with this look. I'm just smudge it in a little more. I'm gonna try a little more lip liner with this. Because it does tend to bleed around your entire mouth. I already know I'm a weirdo, but honestly, I don't really think it looks that bad. So here's my finished look with my NYX products. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of my viewers. I appreciate my subscribers. And if you like this look, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video. Well, let me show you one more look. I just realized I didn't take my hair out. Okay, so I put on a little highlighter, if you can see the glow. And I took my scarf off on my head. And this is the final look. And I love this lipstick. Some people don't like blue lipstick, but I love blue lipstick. All right, well, once again, I thank you for watching. And thank you for watching. And I appreciate all of my subscribers. I appreciate all of my viewers. And I thank you so much for watching my video. And don't forget to thumbs it up if you like this video. And I'll see you next time.